Greetings, YouTube viewers. This is Thor. Got a Thunder 815, aka Thor Wilkins. And a little announcement before this video starts. Um, it's been a long time coming since I've actually had plans to come back to YouTube, but I finally got a decent capture card. Um, the Twitter account, the YouTube Game Train, which is at train underscore YouTube. Link is in the description of this video. Go follow him, go subscribe, go like his posts, and tell him that Thor sent you. He's been a really, really good help with helping me get my capture card and actually actually submitting a good product, because I actually like this capture card. I tested it out with my other games, even on my PS3 and on my PS4. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. This is Pokemon Shield Episode one. Now if you guys can hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, let's get right into it. Let me know in the comments what you want me to do. Would you want me to play it my way, or would you guys like a Nuzlocke? Let's sound off in the comments. Let's go. Pokemon Shield Episode 1 begins now. Greetings YouTube viewers, this is Thor, God of Thunder 815, aka Thor Wilkins. I am back on YouTube with a very first episode of Pokemon Shield episode one let's get right into this welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon our beloved Galar region is a wonderful place with thriving nature beautiful cities and many Pokemon with which we share our lives wait doesn't this take place somewhere in the UK should I give him a British accent as you know, our society is able to thrive. Never mind, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> okay, I just had to stop there for a minute. I've stayed away from practic practically every single spoiler of this game. What? Th what is? What is that? An elephant? Thanks to help from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon are all around us in the sea, in the sky. And even with us in our towns. I think I skipped ahead. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete. We call Pokemon trainers. But I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose. Rose, 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 and it is a pleasure to be here. Now turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion that I'll soon claim the title from. It is time for our champion Leon's exhibition match. You know, ever since they showed this part in the release trailer with him and a Charizard, care what anybody says as Pikachu is so overused as a mascot of Pokemon then Charizard is the most overused starter in Pokemon history Charizard has two megas and now a Dynamax yeah just leave all the other starters in the dust why don't you <laughs> so as you guys know new generation new Pokemon what do you guys want me to do for this game would you want me to do a Nuzlocke would you want me to do a regular playthrough sound off in the comments and let me know if I don't get any comments by the time tomorrow morning <laughs> It's now 5.52 p.m. where I am right now. Please sound off in the comments. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to do a Nuzlocke? Do you want me to do a regular playthrough? Please let me know. I am so excited for this game. Oi, that your new flash new phone, Thor. Were well, you watching Leon's exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. 
You know the only way to properly cheer on Lee will be with his famous Charizard pose. And there's my mom. Oh my god, what happened to your hair? Oh, it's the same hair color as me. Um, that, look closely. That's the hairstyle of the mothers who die in anime. Hop, didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to get Thor. Never mind watching the match now. I got a recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. Now, as you can tell, I'm a little sick, but I don't care. I've been wanting to do this since I got the game on Friday, but my capture card did not come until Saturday. Come with me, Thor. He should be here any minute, and Lee always brings presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. I've got to run. See you at mine later. And I'm just sitting here like, who the fuck are you? Whoa! Oh my god! No running in the house! Ah, these controls are so fucking weird. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ah, uh, see you, Mom. Grab your dad's old bag. Oh my god, is that a. F Never mind. Open the X menu by pressing. Open the X menu. Open the X menu by pressing the X button. You, you know, you could just say open the menu. Uh, select save, check the town map, the adventure guide. Okay, let's go. Don't you look a treat. I knew that bag would suit you. Hurry up. Okay. No going into the forest. As I said, I stayed away from all the spoilers. I only know at least three Galarian form Pokemon. I don't know uh, what any of the evolutions look like. I do not know what any of the... Have a look at you, Thor. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. Okay, as I was saying, I do not know anything about the fucking... other Galarian forms in this game. I've only seen Zigzagoon... The evolved form of Farfetch'd and Galarian Weezing. I've stayed away from all spoilers. So I do not know what I'm in for. At least we know that it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. A Wooloo, but what's it doing here? Stop it, you're gonna get brain damage. Hey, you silly Wooloo, I see what you're up to. Don't go using tackle on the fencing. Now you listen, no going past that fence. No, everyone knows there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering world. Well, thank you for telling me that. Yeah. Now that's taken care of. How about it, Thor? Let's race. Bet I can make it to my house first with what you're looking about that big old bag. Uh... You just live right next door, dude. You got a head start, no fair. Hey, yeah, Thor, Hop was looking for you. Yeah, no point in going to the next town, blah, blah, blah. Mum, is he here? There you are at last, Hope. Oh, and you brought along Thor. Hello, dear. Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? Have you got him crammed in a cupboard? He's still not here yet for the hundredth time. Honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. He's probably only just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. Then that's where I'm going. You know Lee is hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? Yeah, that's probably for the best. You got to come with Thor. You still never met my big bro, right? You got to miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion that I'll soon check the title from. <laughs> I went for you on the route. Well, fine. Fucking hyperactive little shit. Let's get a move on. Only remember, Thor, 
Wild Pokemon could come out of nowhere if you walk through tall patches of grass. I've got my Wulu with me, so I'm ready for battle against Wild Pokemon, of course. Okay, so if you're a starting trainer like me, how the f*** do you already have a starting Pokemon? Well, not you, Thor, so we'll steer clear of tall grass as we go. Alright, as far as I know, like, I do not like how he runs everywhere. Like, this is just an auto run. However, the scenery looks pretty nice, though. Bye, Hop. Uh, I look like I'm hopping. Hop, 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 hop. Look like a fucking bunny. Want to know how to make our champion look like he's more of an asshole? Give him a cape. Not Lance. Lance was cool. Hello, hello, Wedgehurst. Your champion, Leon, is back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. It's our unbeatable champion, Leon. You and your Charizard are the greatest. Oh, Lord. <laughs> well, thank you for that. I hope you all carry on training up your Pokemon and never shy from battle. Then come challenge me for the champion title. We're on it. We've all been working on our battle skills just like you've taught us, Lee. But that Charizard of yours is just too strong for the likes of us to take on. Too true that Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challengers to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wish is for Galas trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. <laughs> Fuck you, Charizard. Lay a hop. So my number one fan in all the world has gone out of his way to pick me up. Okay, you know, just because he's your brother doesn't mean he's your number one fan. Look at you, hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Bingo! That's the sort of sharp eye that's kept you undefeated for so long, eh, Lee? And these bright eyes over here. I've got it. You must be Thor, am I right? I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm the Gala Regis' greatest ever Pokemon champion. And a massive Charizard fan, too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Not for long. Come on, Lee. And you, Thor. Bet I could beat the both of you back home. That hop always wanted to be the best, isn't he? With a proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Well, everyone, I bid you farewell for today, but don't you fret. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time. All right. Come on, Lee. You promised us a present, so out with it. You brought Thor and me Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. <coughs> it's showtime, everyone. Take a good look, you two. Grass type Pokemon Grookey. Fire type Pokemon Scorbunny. And water type Pokemon Sobble. I really don't care what anyone says. I've been with Sobble since day one. Every generation of Pokemon that I have ever played, I have always chosen a water starter Pokemon. Generation 2 with... <laughs> Aww. He scared him. Ever since Generation 2, it's been a tie between Totodile and Cyndaquil. Alright, line up everyone. 
Which will you choose? As I already said, I've been with Sabo Squad since day one. You pick first. I've already got my Wulu after all. Alright. So this is my choice. Coming with me. Sobble Squad since day one. That's the water type Sobble. It adapts to anything as surely as water flows. Yep. I'm gonna take care of this little boy. Or girl. Starters can be girls. Okay, so as I said earlier in the video, let me guys know if you want me to do a Nuzlocke. Give me challenges. I love challenges. Just let me know what challenge you guys want me to do. I might consider it. But I don't know how a Nuzlocke would work if the Pokemon are seen in the overworld. Would it be like... I could catch the first Pokemon I want? Or is it only grass encounters? Like... I mean... I'm... I don't even know how that would even work. I'm not going to give you a nickname for now. Um, oh well, I'll just keep you in my party. Sobble's been out of the party. So it'll be Sobble for you. Nice one. And I'll go with Skull Bunny. You are mine. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You know I'll be doing some serious training. I can't do it, my throat hurts. I bet you will be, Hop. That's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and Thor. So the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together to try to reach me. And the one that is never picked. And you'll come with me. Charizard will show you the road. Whoa, wait, what? You get Grookey. Oh my god. Why do I have a feeling he is going to have Grookey's final evolution throughout his battle when we face him? Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict, but real strong and real kind, too. Alright, enough of this trainer nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and that's it. And I just stand here looking at my Sobble. The next day? The next day. Yeah, of course. You spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting on all right? Understanding one another? Maybe even built up a bit of love? Of course I have, Lee. Thor's made fast friends with his Sobble, too. No, we just blankly stared at each other. Look at that face. Then listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. You can trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough. Then someday, you might even become worthy rivals for me. The unbeatable champion that I'm soon gonna take the title from. What are you looking at him for, Lee? I'm the one who'll be coming to challenging you. If you think Thor might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose to him and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle, too. Oh, so you think you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper trainer already, Hop? Exactly my point, Leon. Thank you. Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend if he's up for it. What do you say? Willing and ready to take on Hop on the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Let's go. Believe in your partner Pokemon and care for them, too, with all your heart. Do those two things, and I'm certain you'll choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. Alright, let's go. 
Looks like everyone's on board. Pokemon are trainers alike? Then let's do this. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home, too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. I see. Might have chosen the wrong starter, but we'll see. Wait. You have two? Wow, it's a two on one fight. A Pokemon battle it is then. I've got two partners with me. Okay, before I check, or before I battle, I'm gonna actually check. Attack is easy, special defense is hard. What are you, a naughty nature? You're a naughty nature. Strongly defiant. Okay, whatever. Pound. Um, aren't mostly water types special attackers? I could probably make him both physical and special. But we'll see what we can do from here on out. So, if you guys could put in the comments, let me know if you want me to do a Nuzlocke. And... Okay, that's pretty decent. That special defense is pretty low. Oh, and he learned his water gun, okay. It's not over yet, I've added another trusty ally to my team. All right, only six HP taken away. So put in the comments, what would you want me to do? Should I do a regular playthrough? Should I do... Did you already know about type advantages? Yes, I did. But I'm pretty sure they put that in there for the new people who are playing Pokemon for the first time, like possibly the little kids. But for any challenge, Put it in the comments. I'll leave my Twitter in the description as well. So you guys can let me know what you want me to do. A regular playthrough or a Nuzlocke. As I mentioned, I don't know how Nuzlocke's work in a game if all the Pokemon appear in the overworld. Like Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Is this game kind of like that? I mean, we've seen it in the, open, in the wild area. So let me know what challenge you guys want me to do. And I'll do my best to do it. You beat multi Pokemon with your one. You and that Sobble are too much. Well, that was a shock. Guess I know now why Leek thought he should give you a Pokemon too, Thor. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Mimi almost wanna let out Charizard and join in on all the fun. Hey, you stay out of this. Good effort out there, Sobble. Why don't I get you all sorted? And Thor, you've got real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. No, I will not fondle your Charizard. Be a real rival to Hop, would you? Push him and make the both of you stronger. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You've seen me battle now, Lee. So come on, you gotta let me take on the Pokemon gyms. You join the gym challenge? You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in Galar region? Not put in the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. If that's really what you want to do, you two have a lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially your friend Thor. Before you think about getting gym badges, best think about getting a Pokedex. A trainer's Pokedex helps them learn lots of things about Pokemon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data. You know, it's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Right, right, we get it. Pokedex is then. We're on it. Looks like we're off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Thor. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm going to be the next champion, so completing a Pokedex... Simple Pokedex would be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. 
You probably better go tell your mom that we're heading out, though. All right, let's go. Was that the Wooloo that just broke through the fence? Thor, did you hear that just now? Oh, I like that background. You see the Pokemon in the background. The gate's open and the Wooloo that was there. It's gone! Oh no. It was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through there, do you? But it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once and she came back in a real state. And there was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterward. What do you say? Well, we're ignorant little kids. We're gonna go somewhere we're not supposed to anyway. Right? Even if we're not supposed to. This is the kind of scene where you simply have to do what's needed. Hope you're ready for anything because we're going in. Wait. I was trying to go that way. Oh. The Wooloo disappeared. Oh. They're back. <laughs> and they disappear. And they're back. <laughs> okay, let's go. Man, I feel like... I feel like... Shh. This place is right behind my house. <laughs> this is like my backyard. That Wooloo. Where did you think it got off to? I don't know. The fog is coming on really thick now. If you don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. Alright. So I've stayed up. I've stayed away from all spoilers. Screw it. It's a squirrel. I've stayed away from all spoilers of this game. I'm just gonna battle it to get the experience. <laughs> I've stayed away from all spoilers of this game. I did do a live reaction of the trailer when Sword and Shield was announced at Nintendo Direct back in, I think it was May or June. And it was kind of a it was kind of crappy. It's on my YouTube, so I apologize. What up, Hop? Doing all right there, Sobble? Let me be sure you're in tip-top shape. Diddle Let's go. All right. As I said, I don't know what I'm expecting. Rookie D. Uh, I can't. I don't have any Pokeballs. No, I got my kids sitting right here watching with me. Wait, was that the music? Did you hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying out, you think? Another Squovet. Every generation has to have a bird, a bug, and a rodent at the start of every area. So I'm just gonna, we're gonna get through this. I'm not gonna make this episode really long because I want you guys to tell me what you want me to do, a regular playthrough or a Nuzlocke, and let me know what challenges you want me to do for a, the Nuzlocke. This will also be on my Twitter, as I mentioned. This will be on my Twitter and my Instagram in the description box below. Don't also forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell button to get notifications because I will be uploading more games and video play from now on. Come on, Thor. That really might be in real trouble. 
and little boy Tommy was never seen again. <laughs> oh damn, the fog's getting thicker. And thicker. This is mad. I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I'll get one of this place is off limits. It's in my backyard. <clears throat> A scary Pokemon's gonna come up and get us. Something that we... What? What in the... That is not what's on the game case. Is this the pre-evolved form or what? I don't know the name and I don't know the level. Water gun. The move has no effect. Mysterious Pokemon's gates fixed upon you. What? The move had no effect on it. Can I run? Nope. Can't run away for some reason. Growl. This might be an illusion. Uh, okay. Though I can't see anything. You okay? Can I run? Nope. Can't. Still can't run. Pound. Nope. Nothing. Nothing works. And it's just fogging up the area. I can't see anything! Thor! Ah. Snake, are you okay? Snake? Snake! <laughs> <coughs> oh man, I'm allergic to laughing. I can't laugh until I cough up a lung. Uh, hop, Thor. The sweetheart. And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Wedgehurst, aren't you? A bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center. Maybe some potions or something. Remember that Sobble will battle to the very end for you. So don't you go pushing the poor deer too hard. What? <laughs> and you, Sobble, look after my little Thor. Come home to rest any time that you need. After all, east or west, home is best. Alright, so what I'm gonna do... Heal up right now, even though I'm probably already fully healed. Alright, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to end this episode right here. I want to see what I can actually get out of this. Let me know in the comments what you guys want me to do. Would you want me to do a regular playthrough, just explore, play like original Pokemon game, or do you want me to do a Nuzlocke? Let me know in the comments. I will also be putting a poll out on Twitter. I'll be posting it up right after this video. So what do you guys want me to do? Regular playthrough or a Nuzlocke? Nuzlocke, please give me some challenges. Please give me some rules. Please give me anything that I can use. I'm really excited to see what I can go through in this game. And I hope this is not the last time, but this is Thor God of Thunder 815, a.k.a. Thor Wilkins, and I will be back with episode two.